Let's get into the plate boundaries a little bit more. Diversion plate boundary. Let's start with this video. Okay, so here we're gonna see a divergent plate boundary. Watch. Watch as the plates are moving apart. What happens is lava flows out on the ocean floor. Okay, there's lava flows and then they, they move away. So watch, I'm gonna follow, track the next lava flow. Okay, so these form at the same time and then as millions of years go by, they get pulled further and further away. Okay, all of the rock between them is newer. Okay, so I stopped the video here. Now, let's, let's put some ages on there. Let's say it's 5 million years old. So let's say this lava flow here and this one here, they're 5 million years old. So all of this here, all the ocean crust between there has to be younger than that. And here, I put some more uh, ages on there. So this, these, this rock here and this here was 10, 10 million years old. This lava flow, this is 20 million years old, let's say, and this is 30 million years old. And that's what happened. So 30 million years ago, this rock was back here and none of this other stuff existed. So uh, we see this pattern on both sides of the mid, this is a mid ocean ridge. We see this pattern of as you get this way, it gets older and as you get this way, it gets older. Important to know that and recognize that. That's an important fact. Okay, so if you have a um, sort of the, the, the divergent is occurring on a continental plate, which can happen, kind of rip a continental plate apart, uh, it's called a rift. A rift forms in a continental crust when divergent occurs. And this, we're kind of seeing that here, and the crust will get thinner, and you have all of these faults, and it will pull apart, and it'll actually end up being two separate pieces of land at some point in the future. Convergent plate boundaries. Okay, this is definitely the most complicated one. Here we go. So, in this case, what we're showing, let's always look at what we're looking at. We're looking at an ocean crust here uh, moving into. Uh, continent here you see the arrows okay and so a few things that you notice you always have a trench here uh, where this plate goes down you have a trench it's the deepest parts of the ocean that that is a feature of convergent plate boundaries like this uh, this plate goes under the ocean crust goes under that's called subduction the process is called subduction and then this plate actually goes down it melts and it will melt through and form volcanoes on the overriding plate so that's just some things we see what else do we have here's a different diagram showing a similar thing Notice the arrows, okay? At a convergent plate boundary, they're coming together. The ocean crust, again, is, is subducting down. You really see the melting a little bit better here. Uh, and there's, there's a, a line of volcanoes on the overriding plate. Now, the question that uh, is it often gets asked is, why does the ocean crust go down? Why doesn't the continent go down? And that's because, uh, that's because the ocean crust is more dense than the continental crust. So that makes it go down and sink. This is much more buoyant and more likely to kind of float. So this goes down into the asthenosphere. Now, uh, luckily, this is on the reference table, okay? The density here. It used to not be, but now it is. So if you look, this is page 10 right here. It talks about the ocean crust and the continental crust. And let, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. So look, it has the density. And it tells you that the continental crust is 2.7 and the ocean crust is 3.0. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's enough to make the ocean crust subduct. Also, what it tells you, and this is key, you often need to go back here, that ocean crust is the igneous rock basalt, while continental crust is mainly granite, okay? both igneous rocks. And you often need to go to this page of uh, the reference table, which is page 10, this section here, because um, there's an, oftentimes a number of questions on it, so know that. Okay, another thing that you often see at um, these uh, subduction zones at conversion plate boundaries is I drew in these X's show where earthquakes are occurring. The earthquakes are occurring on the ocean crust as it goes down. Now notice if you're if you're measuring the earthquake here, this is not so far down, but this is further down, this is further down, this is further down, and this is really far down. So we call this this is these are deep focus earthquakes. So here on Earth, the earthquakes that they experience. Um, here are deep below the surface. This is another piece of evidence that how we know that this is happening. We've never seen this. So deep focus earthquakes, another um, important feature of these uh, convergent plate boundaries where there's subduction. Now, 
you can have two continents come together as well. And in that case, both of them have density of about 2.7, and that's not, that's, they're, they're not going to subduct in that case. And what you get is uh, you get mountain, mountains forming. They kind of fold and buckle and go upwards, and that's how we get the big mountain ranges of this Earth. And that's called orogeny, by the way. Sometimes that comes up on the Regents' exam. Orogeny is a process of mountains being built this way. Transform plate boundary. Transform plate boundaries when plates are sliding past each other like this. So if at a convergent plate boundary you have subduction, we say crust is being destroyed, and at a divergent plate boundary, a mid-ocean ridge where the plates pull apart, lava comes up to fill the space, new crust is being formed there. We say crust is conserved here. It's neither created nor destroyed. Important to know. Uh, here, this is uh, in California. The San Andreas Fault runs through a huge section of California, and that is a transform fault. Know that, or at least know how to find it on the reference table. That is a very common um, topic that comes up on tests. So uh, this is from the reference table. I zoomed in on it so we could see it. But this is shown there. San Andreas Fault is labeled. This is, you know, this is the United States here. So that's on there. It's a good. Uh, it's a really good reference. Know to how to find it. Uh, this here, if you see these arrows here, it is showing um, the movement along the San Andreas Fault in California. So, know it.